WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has reportedly reached a plea deal with the Joe Biden administration that could see him avoid further imprisonment in the United States, as per recent federal court filings reported by CNN. Assange is said to have agreed to plead guilty to a felony charge linked to his alleged role in one of the largest breaches of classified U.S. government materials. If approved by a federal judge, this deal would result in a 62-month sentence matching the time he has already served in London's Belmarsh prison while fighting extradition to the U.S. The agreement includes crediting his time served, potentially allowing Assange to return to his native Australia immediately. WikiLeaks confirmed his release from Belmarsh after he was granted bail by the High Court in London and departed from Stansted Airport. A video posted by WikiLeaks showed Assange boarding a plane, marking his departure from the UK, according to CNN. The U.S. District Court in the Northern Mariana Islands has scheduled a plea hearing and sentencing for Wednesday morning. Prosecutors explained that Assange preferred not to enter the continental U.S. for his guilty plea, opting instead for a venue near Australia, where he plans to return after court proceedings. U.S. Justice Department officials anticipate Assange will plead guilty and be sentenced accordingly. Assange had been sought by U.S. authorities over his role in publishing confidential military records leaked by Chelsea Manning between 2010 and 2011. He faced 18 charges from a 2019 indictment related to the breach, carrying a potential maximum sentence of up to 175 years in prison. Although such a term was unlikely, U.S. officials alleged Assange encouraged Manning to obtain extensive amounts of unfiltered U.S. diplomatic cables, potentially endangering confidential sources. Along with significant Iraq war-related reports in Guantanamo Bay detainee information, according to CNN, President Joe Biden had hinted at a possible deal supported by Australian officials to facilitate Assange's return. However, FBI and Justice Department officials insisted any agreement include a felony guilty plea by Assange, sources familiar with the matter told CNN. Last month, a UK court ruled in Assange's favor, granting him the right to appeal his final challenge against extradition to the US marking a significant legal victory after years of legal battles. Assange's case has garnered global attention, sparking debates on press freedom, government transparency, and the legal implications of publishing classified information, from seeking asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy in London to his time in Belmarsh and now the prospect of a plea deal in return to Australia. Assange's journey has been closely followed by supporters, critics, and legal experts alike, CNN reported.